Today I'm making uh, lamb roast, and you see there is a two beautiful piece of meat. Uh, this is actually come from Bangladesh. This one is like about one and a half kilo, and this is uh, like about one kilo. What I did first, just I wash it and then I cut it like this. I put pinch, and you have to pinch it like uh, through the through the meat and until the bone, you know. I already did it for two pieces and what ingredients I need for this is I need like yogurt you see the, the fresh yogurt I need and this is a, a low fat also but this is very condensed yogurt remember you need very very condensed one and this is a ginger garlic paste some salt uh, black pepper uh, cumin uh, some coriander seed and some mixed garam masala uh, some ketchup some fried onion and some lemon that's it that is it you know oh actually you can you can put uh, red chili also if you like a uh, little bit uh, spicy also so this and actually no need sugar because when you put the ketchup uh, it had already the sugar stop yeah at first uh, i start with some salt i have to season some salt so you put like about one teaspoon salt for both of two this is i think enough so then then you have to massage it you have to put it like a the very good way in the both side of the meat and massage it like a very very good and very smooth this one and after that you will give some uh, black pepper Actually, if you use the fresh one, it's better, Done. but uh, actually lazy to do it, so I'm using the, the ready-made one. So put some black paper, paper, and then you just massage like same, like salt, just massage it like this. After that, you put uh, ginger garlic paste on it. Actually, somebody use uh, onion also, but I don't use the fresh onion because when I marinate, it will not uh, taste good after a long time. That's why I use the the fried one, the fried onion. Yeah, like this. So I put like about uh, four tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, and then I massage it like this. And you have to put like a you see the the meat. You have to put your finger there to make it like blended with everywhere Stop. okay uh, so I mix it very well the ginger garlic paste and um, the salt and pepper so the next step is I have to put other spices in it so especially the first I put some chili you see the red chili powder this you don't need too much otherwise it will be too hot actually the roast is not not as good if you put like too much hot so it's about like a, a two spoon two spoon of uh, chili powder okay so so also I start already you see the uh, the chili I put it here and after that you I want to put some you see the cumin seed here it's lightly crashed because it's not from the market I make it made it myself it's a fresh one the cumin seed and then you use some coriander it's like about one teaspoon each and then you have to put some you see the onion fried onion over there so i put fried onion is like about you can say about one cup of fried onion okay after the the fried onion then i put the yogurt you see the the burger is very very solid yogurt and have some little water that 
I have to drain it and then put the just just solid one. It's like about 450 gram of yogurt. You see, actually, I think this is enough for these two piece of meat. And I'll take two lemon, medium size. This is lemon. So I'll put the juice there. You see. So lemon juice is very 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 good flavor it will give a very good texture and the flavor in in the meat so this two piece of lemon I'm using medium size and the lemon will give the good you see the my my the tray is a little bit smaller for this one so what I do, I'll cut here a little bit for make it bend. You can see. So you see, little bit. So it will, I can bend it easily. Yeah, this is the little bit trick for put it in the tray. So actually, I have to mix it first, and then I start mixing. So after all the spices I mix mixes, you see the the spices is blended with the the mutton. Uh, the piece of mutton is like very very good actually this one I'm using mutton, but you can use lamb as well No problem with that It will test uh, I think uh, the similar So there is no problem. So I you see that I, I mix it all It's already have a good smell coming out from all the spices. So what I didn't uh, put yet is a uh, uh, The all mixed spices this one I have to put So now I put uh, this is the garam masala is mixed with uh, the cumin seed, mixed with the cloves, mixed with uh, the black pepper, cardamom, white cardamom, black cardamom, and the nutmeg. And this this one I made by myself. I don't use actually the mix uh, masala or something all the time. I avoid these things because uh, somehow I don't like uh, the the, the ready made one because maybe maybe their mixing is uh, not go with me. That's why I'm, I put all all the time. It's my one. Okay, so after this mix, the, the next step is uh, you have to cover it with the aluminum foil and that is very important when you put it, uh, then you, you cannot put it in the very cold place. You should, uh, I'm using my oven to put it, but I don't start the oven, but I'll keep it in my oven. So I'm using butter as well because actually butter, uh, no need to mix first because I, when I put it in like a... Uh, for uh, four hours it will little bit little bit uh, you can see the the mix and it will melt so this butter you can put on top just top like that actually is not needed for now it's needed for when uh, while it is cooking or you can use pure ghee also but it's too rich so I use uh, butter normally so I just cut it in piece some pieces and I put the butter it will it is like a about uh, for 50 gram I think butter I'm using all together you see I put butter in everywhere like this like inside and the top actually it's not necessary to mix it okay then uh, you see all the, the pieces of meat everything is done so now I put it in the aluminum foil by using a sheet of foil and then put it like this you see and at first wash my hand with this. Uh, mix it over and then after that what I do is uh, you see that I cover it like this and I put it in a like a warm place not in hot a little bit of warm place about four hours but if you put in the fridge you can put it like for one day but I'm not putting in the fridge so I'm putting it in the oven so I'm, I'm putting it in the oven you see uh, so this one actually I'm not going to cook now. Just, I just I just put it like here. You can see. I just put it like this about four hours for here. And after that maybe I'll start the cooking. So I take it out now. It's marinated for about five hours actually. So I'm, now I mix uh, the butter. You see it's already melted. Yes, I have to mix it. 
Yeah, it's some guy, Juba, Shawn. They're actually looking for it. So you see, I'm uh, mixing it again. Actually, I put uh, add some uh, uh, ketchup in this stage, about uh, two tablespoons. And my oven is like uh, preheating now. So you see, it's already like a uh, tender, and it's like uh, get all the spices inside. So actually, it's uh, ready for cook now. So I'm uh, putting it in microwave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, not not microwave, sorry, oven. Ha. Hmm. I'm ready, Lapha. Chai, submit mok ka pet. So it is for actually uh, mm. cooking about uh, one and a half an hour. For this, after one and a half, half an hour, I'll see the position, then I will uh, proceed again. Ah, ka, 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 ka. So after uh, finish, it, it will look like that. You see, it's, uh, I have to cook like about uh, three hours in the oven at last. And you will put 180 degrees centigrade and uh, you have to, in the meantime, you have to change the side. Then, then it will get uh, like this golden color in the both sides. And you can add some uh, uh, sugar. I put some sugar here. And some ketchup in the middle. And then it, it is like this. <laughs>